When a movie studio or a streaming platform funds every movie that comes their way, they are surely, surely going to have movies that are always below par. And in this case, I'm talking about Netflix. Netflix funds every movie that comes their way. And most of the time, they always end up producing bad movies. Welcome back to the channel, guys. In this video, I'll talk about Netflix's Pain or Slas. Pain or Slas is about a single mother that is struggling to raise her child and she gets a job opportunity to work at a pharmaceutical company. This film stars Emily Blunt and Chris Evans as the main characters. And when I saw the two of them as the main characters, I was really, really intrigued to see this film because I mean I like Chris Evans and I've seen Emily Blunt in some movies and she was really good in them. So I knew I had to see what these two actors were going to bring to this film. And honestly, when I saw this film, I was so so let down. This film is like The Wolf of Wall Street meets Hustlers, but so much less interesting. This film was so so below my expectation. It didn't even do anything for me. I was expecting this movie to be so so good, but man, it really really let me down. And the fact that this film stars Emily Blunt and Chris Evans was something that just added to my disappointment of this film. These are two people that are great actors and the films that they've always acted in, they've always delivered their best. Their performances in this film were very very good, but their performances alone cannot save a bad script. The script of this film did not have depth. The plot was predictable and you were like waiting for things to happen, waiting for something exciting to happen, but nothing exciting ever happens. So it's not like I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting and I don't even get any payoff for what I'm waiting for. Yes, yeah, some things happen and there are some payoff to some things, but honestly, the emotions I was expecting to get from this film, I did not get any of them. This film was a big letdown. There are some things I liked about it though, not that much, but there are some things I liked. Like, I loved the way they explored greed in this film. The way they explored the greed in this film felt genuine and it felt like how people act in real life. Like, I've seen some things like this, I've seen people act like this in real life. When I saw the way they explored the greed aspect of this film, it was something that I connected with and I appreciated. And the film serves as an eye-opener for the things that go on in the pharmaceutical company. The things that some rich people do just to get richer. Like, they honestly don't care about people, they just do things that to just get them more money. And that was something that I loved seeing and like, it's opened my eyes to things that I didn't know about in this world. That was some things that I really appreciated in this film. That and the way they explored the grid. And the performances from the characters were also very good. But those were the only things that were good about it. The other things about it just fell flat. The story was not anything special. Like, I've seen stories like that before. And this story didn't even add anything new and anything interesting. Honestly, I was watching this film and I fell asleep. <laughs> that was how uninteresting this film felt to me. I'm sure some people watch this film and they will enjoy it. But honestly, I did not get anything from this film. And the film was longer than it needed to be. The film was over two hours. And I felt like there's some things that could have been cut out and there's some scenes that could have been shortened that would have made this film much less longer and it should have made it at least not as boring as it felt but man it wasn't it was just unnecessarily long and it lost me like i said i fell asleep by watching this film i woke up and i continued watching it and it was still not interesting to me man i felt like i just wasted time watching this film but i just had to review this film honestly this film is a very very forgettable film like i watched it yesterday and i can't even remember details of the film that was how boring it was to me and very very forgettable it was and i wish they had done better with the script and the storytelling but all the less this film was... Ah, I would never ever recommend this film to anyone. But if you're a fan of Chris Evans and Emily Blunt, I want to see more of their performances. I'm sure you watch this film and you like and you appreciate their performances. But apart from that, this film doesn't have anything to offer, honestly. <laughs> but that's just my thoughts on it. Have you guys seen Pain Hustlers? What do you think about it? Comment below and let me know. If this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers.